Shalom. <clears throat> All praises, glory, and honor is due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Ha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles, elders, to the apostles, elders, bishop, teachers of Great Millstone, and the like minded men who may not be directly part of Great Millstone but are following the same doctrine. Um, shall, salutations to the elect men, women, and children of Bayaf Dawadah who are predestined to be saved in these last days. Just a quick explanation. The true name of Yahu, um, the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, meaning He is, He exists. And the true name of His only begotten Son is Yahweh Shai, meaning He He delivers, He saves, He salvation, and He's come to in He, Yahweh Shai, will be sent back to save the elect of the nation of Israel, the nation of Yahshua um, in these last days. <clears throat> this is where we are, and Akar Kodash is the Holy Spirit. So um, I'm just going to get straight to the point. Russian redacted uh, an alternative news site last night, as as advised by, um, as recommended by um, the Apostle Taha initially and all the other teachers. I've been watching it for a while now. Um, it goes into various different stories. So I'm just going to play, uh, read the scripture, read a couple of scriptures, and then play a quick video. This video has already been brought out before, so it's a warning. You know, the video has already been brought out. So if you're bored, just move on. Because we're talking about the Karagma, we're talking about the MOTB, which is Revelation thirteen sixteen, which has been explained plenty, thousands of times, and it will be continued to be explained by the elders from Apostle Taha, Apostle um, Gabak, Apostle Rakar, Apostle Ramlab, all the teachers of Great Millstone, and the like minded men who are pushing um, the, um, the truth of what the. Um, MOTB, which is the mark of the beast. Yeah, so, um, and it's a physical mark, not a spiritual, it's physical. The war in the mark, so like, uh, the mark in um, Ezekiel 9 and 4 is a the war, that's a spiritual mark set on the elect by Yahweh Bar Shem Yeah, so um, the elect who will be saved in these last days when Yahweh returns to deliver them. <clears throat> um, Habakkuk 2 and Three, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. And we're going to go into the NLT for this. This vision is for a future time. It describes the end and it will be fulfilled. Yeah. If it seems slow in coming, wait patiently. For it will surely take place; it will not be delayed. Um, <laughs> the apostles have been speaking about the Karagma for decades, and before I came into the truth, I knew um, about the mark of the beast and knew it's a physical mark. But given being given the true clarity, true understanding through the the, the teachers, the apostles of Great Mosan and the light minded men and the teachers. Through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Ashai, over this past few years, has really given um, um, me the eyes to see and the ears to hear. Through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Ashai, I can definitely say that. You know, so it's just amazing that we're living in these times. So I'm going to get one more scripture. It just come to my mind. Um, Isaiah, sorry, Isaiah 55. <clears throat> Eleven. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whither to I sent it. Wow. I'm going to read it in NLT again. Isaiah 55 and 11. It is the same word. Same with my word, I send it out, and it always produces fruit. It will accomplish all I want it to, and it will prosper everywhere I send it. So Yahweh's, Yahweh Barashim Yahshai's words are true, are faithful and true, simple as that. Uh, and what we're seeing is um, this, um, this, this, this prophecy of the MOTB being fully, being um, the infrastructure being implemented as we speak 
yeah, being set up as we speak. And um, and all roads basically lead into the physical mark of the beast. First, it will start with the CBDC. Then, you know, the social credit scores within the CBDC system. And then after a while, they'll come up with some type of reasoning to, to make the product completely safe and secure, which will mean you will be... Um, have to have that product which is the MOTB the mark of the beast microchip implemented inside of you yeah that's what's going to happen yeah how, 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 so like it however it's happened is going to happen because you how by Shemir Shai's words do not return unto him void simple as that and let me play this this is from redacted so fair use fair use uh, but of course, it has ultimate power. It sits over top of this in this structure. And we'll learn more about how all of these things interconnected in, in time. But this is just the preliminary rollout of this. So imagine all of these little currencies will now. So what he's talking about here is, um, like I said, fair use, fair use. It's the introduction of the International Monetary Fund's um, Unicoin, yeah, which will um, umbrella all the other central bank digital currencies which will allow them to um, allow countries and central banks to trade with one another. Yeah. So like I said earlier, and like the apostles have said many times, the infrastructure has been set up before our eyes. Yeah. As the, the, the title says here, new global digital currency. Report up to the mothership, like a science fiction film. Mothership and all of these little euros and dollars and, and, uh, and whatever other currencies exist out there. Um, they'll all kind of report up to that, you know, um, and that's how it will take. That's how it will work. Um, the U.S. And, and right now, this is exactly how the international CBDC will facilitate these transactions. We don't know yet. I mean, we don't exactly know how they're going to facilitate these transactions. Are they going to use a debit card, or will it be on your phone? Like, okay, I want to make a purchase. I want to. Tra so that's to. Um utilities or products that they've just mentioned there, the debit card on the phone, are the gradual steps to um, what will eventually be the MOTB, a physical um, C-hip karagma within within your body placed inside of you. Yeah. So let me continue the video. And there's a, um, a point I'm trying to get to is where there's a um, central banker, an ex-central banker speaking about the ultimate goal. Like I said, Apostle Gubar and Apostle Taha, all the apostles have spoken about this thousands of times, speaking about Aaron Russo and his, um, his speech, his, his conversation with Nick Rockefeller. You know, um, Aaron Russo speaking to Alex Jones in an interview in the early 2000s. So, For money, I want to buy a house. I want to enroll my kids <coughs> in uh, tennis lessons or college or... I don't know, buy a Netflix subscription or what the hell else do people want to buy and enjoy their lives with, right? How is it going to work? We don't know. Will it be on your phone? Probably not. Will you have a plastic debit card? Probably not. No, remember Professor Richard Werner told us how this will work and what this control will do to all of us. Watch. Also, they never talk about the nature of the CBDC. What, what is it actually going to look like? They never talk about that. Um, but I heard one European Central Banker, tell me what it's going to look like. He saw it. He was invited to one of the old central banks in Europe that are very much promoting this. And they showed him. And, you know, he's, he's a top, um, you know, executive director of another central bank in Europe. And there's no reason to believe that he was telling me a story. Um, and he was around this, this large and would be implanted under your skin. Right, so <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. Let me just go straight to the scriptures here. Wow. <laughs> All those, I, listen, I'm young in this thing here. Yeah? I'm a baby crawling. And at the end of the day, um, those camps who are saying that it's a spiritual mark either don't read or just. Um, Obviously, for the spirit, you know, how Bashim Rosh has not given them the eyes to see and the ears to hear. But if they, if they have and, and do hear it in six, it's quite simple, actually. Yeah. 
you know, through the spirit, it says, um, then the, 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 that's all that simple as that. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. Cause it is, it's, it's blatantly simple. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the revelation 13, 16, and he causeth all of this, this has been broken down thousands of times. I'm just going to stick to the word mark and causeth. Yeah. After I read the um, verse, cause of all, both small and rich, so both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. 17. And that no man, as man, woman, or child, might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Um, so basically, that physical mark that 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 dot, so-called doctor was just um, speaking about the same when he had a conversation with a central banker, poor Yayo. Yeah, he causeth to make, to make, yeah, outline of biblical usage, poor Yayo. Strong's G, 4160, poor Yayo, poor to make, so the names of things made to produce, construct, author to the cause, to make ready, to prepare, to produce, pre shoot forth, to acquire. So basically, he's going to make um, the Esau Edom, which is a circle white man, and the, the ruling elite are going to make people, either directly or indirectly. Eventually, firstly, it will be indirectly by um, saying it's convenient, saying it's the way to go. And once enough people have got it, yeah. Then um, comes comes the forced, the forced um, causing, yeah. Well, people will be beheaded, yeah, for for not going along with the with the system, the whole of the B system, yeah, which is the 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 end, um, which is uh, how can I put it, the NWO, which we're seeing being in the yeah this new world order, which we're seeing being implemented as we speak. The system that's his philosophy is, it's his wine, it's his, it's, his, it's his ways of living. Yeah, going along with the, the 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 alphabet people, going along with all the the corruption and the wickedness. Basically, the whole system of the beast NATO and the EU, yeah, which is the NWO, which will be um, technocracy. Yeah, technocracy. That's the word. Let me go into this word mark. Karagma. It's important that you go into the word um, to get the understanding. Karagma. Karagma. Strong's G, 5480. Karagma. Karagma. A stamp, an imprinted mark. A mark stamped on the forehead or the right hand or hands, in, it says in some scriptures. In the scripture, I think it's. We'll get that actually, um, as well. Right hand or is a badge of the followers of the um, anti mashiach Yeah. Um, and that's just, it's not just one man. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the whole system going against Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, specifically Yahweh Shai, who's Mashiach. Yeah. The mark branded upon authors, thing carved, scripture, sculpture, graven work. Go into this root word. This is again important. G5482. Karax, yeah, Karax, to sharpen to a point to a kin through the idea of scratching. A pail or a stake, I've gone into it, I think about last year, it's the imp it's the um, the machine or the, the equipment used to um, to implant or to place the, the, the C-hip within you, yeah, right, so, so basically a, a, a needle. Yeah, but with a slight, a slightly bigger edge, um, end of it, you know, to, to fit a, a, um, the C hip, which is about the size of a grain of rice, as you've probably heard. Yeah, um, genius. Grapho, to write with reference to the form of letters. This is going to be, um, the, uh, as in the universal product code, this is going to be the owner of the chip and it's going to delineate or basically identify who you owned, basically who you're owned by, which elite 
remember your own but yeah yeah to delineate letters on a tablet parchment paper or to write the reference to form of letters yeah so um apostles again have gone into the um, universal product code which is the um the mark which is the 666 thing so I'm not breaking that down right now but this is the point you know it's basically it's a physical mark and what is gonna be the punishment doom for the worshippers of the beast which is NATO and the EU and this Esau Edom system and the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark, I guarantee that's going to say Karagma again. Look, Karagma again, you see, we don't need to break that down. Yeah, this is the punishment. <clears throat> And receive his mark in his forehead or in his right hand or in his source it's like or in his hand it's like i said those will get that scripture and there it is in his hand so those people who are trying to be tricky and say oh yeah it's not in your right hand or it's not um thing here specifically it says hand here you know so it's either hand or part any part of your body you know so just don't take it simple as yeah don't conform you know we prefer to die than conform to Esau Edom f that man f that F E saw Edom and his system. Now, anyway, um, Revelation 14 and 10. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, most high, Yahweh Moshai, which is poured out without poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, that's righteous anger, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb, burnt up, you know. When um, that sacrifice of Baza, um, which is America, Babylon the Great, is, is um, going to, when, when it's burnt up, Isaiah 34, for example. Yeah. Again, I went into that, um, a few scriptures on that yesterday. So, you know, at the end of the day, I, we should worship the creator rather than the, crea the creation. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, <laughs> Um, in Revelation 16 and 2. And the first went and poured out and poured out his vial upon the earth as the destruction. And there fell a noisome and grievous sore, you know, upon the men which had the mark of the beast and upon them which worshipped his image. Again, the system. Yeah. The system isn't an image of Caesar. Sorry, the image isn't a picture of Caesar Bogier. Yeah, it's the system going along with Esau Edom when he comes out with this. I'm looking at the um, um, uh, Al Jazeera now. It's like basically talking about AI, AI empowered, AI empowered information. Yeah, this is coming fast, man. This is coming fast. With the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, we've got to just pray that the that, that being found worthy and repent daily. Um, where are we? Where are we? And go to Thessalonians five. Yeah. But the day but of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For your souls know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. But we we're, we're not of that number, but as you know, by the spirit of Yahweh Shai. Wow. You know, I'd like you to read that. Might read this after, actually, you know, still. Um, Ephesians, let me go to Ephesians 5 and 15 and end it there. <sighs> yes, like I said, I don't really have any um, scriptures um, I haven't planned in my mind, but it's for whatever the spirit throws at me I'm gonna bring out and this is this is it really, you know. End of the day, we're living in those times, man. We're living in those times that prophecies are popping off like popcorn. And um it's the end of this month's system. So just 
pray that pray that we be found worthy in Yahweh Hashem Yashai's eyes. Talking to myself as um, I'm <laughs> saying it to myself as much as anybody else. You know what I'm saying, yeah. Yeah, seek out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Yeah, um, Ephesians five and fifteen. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Yeah, with that, Lord's will, this is edifying to the elect from the hopeful elect. I'm going to say shalom. Call hello, Yahweh, Barasham, Yahushai, Barasham, Kakodash, double honors to the apostles and elders and teachers of Great Millstone and the like minded men who may not be directly part of Great Millstone. Salutations to the elect men, women, and children of the Bayafta house of David who are predestined to be saved. Kwam Yasharala and Ababa Bar Shalawam. Lord's will, this is edifying.